Hello everybody, today I'm at Spirit Ford taking a look at this 2024 Ford Maverick Lariat. This thing has the 2.5 liter hybrid EcoBoost engine and it is front wheel drive. I believe it is hot red uh, tint coat metallic or pepper red metallic. Beautiful, beautiful exterior color. Um, these Mavericks are so amazing, I absolutely love them. So starting off up front, you're gonna have the LED headlights with the black bezels because of the black appearance package. You're also gonna have the blacked out grille. Your adaptive cruise control sensor is gonna be right there. Absolutely beautiful looking exterior color. Blacked out Ford wheels. I believe you have some Michelin Primacy all seasons and the tire size on that is a 225-60 R18. Blacked out Lariat badging and mirror caps. This guy does have blind spot monitoring as well as the passive entry system. So as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger side door. Coming around to the back, we have the smoked out uh, tail lamps. They do have LED accent lighting in them, but the actual bulbs in the back are incandescent. Maverick is gonna be stamped into the tailgate. Your four pin connector is gonna be right here next to your trailer hitch. This guy does have uh, backup sensors integrated into the upper portion of the bumper. Backup camera is going to be underneath the Ford logo and your hybrid badge is on the driver's side. This is a lockable capless fuel filler door. Absolutely beautiful looking truck. Like I said, the Maverick is just absolutely amazing. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So starting off over on the driver's side door, we have all the window controls for the vehicle as well as the mirror controls. Lock and unlock button is going to be right there. Right here we have the cargo lamp button, gas cap unlock button, rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Up top you have a all plastic dashboard. This guy does have the B&O premium audio group. We have a nice little storage tray right here behind the touchscreen display. Working our way down to the instrument cluster, we have the um, escape style uh, instrument cluster. Uh, you would traditionally have your tachometer on the left and speedometer on the right, but because this is a hybrid, you do have your EV uh, power on the tachometer side. Beautiful LCD screen in the middle as well. Coming back to the steering wheel, it is a very, very soft leather wrap steering wheel with very mild bolsters at 10 and 2. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have all of the safety features for the vehicle, including your gap adjustment for your adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist button, regular cruise control buttons, as well as some steering wheel mounted audio controls. Over on the right side of the steering wheel, we have all the control pad for the center LCD screen, as well as some more steering wheel mounted audio controls. Uh, touch screen right here. I believe this has a 4G LTE connection indicated by the little Wi-Fi thing right there. Uh, I think this also has wireless CarPlay in Android Auto too, if I'm not mistaken. I know I will be corrected in the comment section below. Touch screen or storage compartment right next to the touchscreen display. Under that, you have your physical buttons for the radio as well as your hazard light buttons. Single zone climate control, but you do have heated seats for the captain's chairs. Heated steering wheel button is gonna be over here. This uh, Lariat does have push button start, which is awesome. 12 volt outlet right here. Power sliding rear window, which honestly is pretty shocking to me. I absolutely love that this car has it. A lot of the uh, Ford Rangers don't even have that. So that's awesome. USB, USB type C. Right here you have a wireless charging mat for a plus size smartphone, as well as a stand right here for a regular smartphone. Two cup holders, storage tray right there. Rotary shifter for the vehicle. Electronic parking brake. This controls your different drive modes. Then we have your traction control off button. Then we have your hold button. This will keep the car stationary while you're in drive and your foot is off the brake. Credit card or ID holder right here. And then you have a storage compartment. Lift up on this, giving us access to a, a pretty decent sized storage compartment. Really nice, soft leather seats. This car just got delivered, so they didn't go through complete PDI yet. Massive glove box for this size of vehicle. Up top, the vanity is gonna be incandescent lit for your passenger as well as the driver. I can get it to open, there we go. Glasses storage up top. And then your LED dome map light master controls and then your non-dimming rear view mirror. So overall, I really, really do like the interior of these vehicles. I think they did an amazing job. I love 
love, love the Maverick. Uh, I just wish they would offer a hybrid in four wheel drive. Um, or maybe even bring some of the hybrid power to a four-wheel drive Ranger because those new ones look sweet. Tons of storage in the doors themselves. You have a plus-sized water bottle storage here, so if you do have a smart water or whatever, you can easily put it there and it fit. Tons of legroom up here. Let's see how much room we have now in the back. Now, I am pretty surprised at how much legroom I do have in here. Uh, I have more legroom in this small truck than I do in a lot of the competition with their bigger trucks, uh, such as like the Colorado, the Canyon, the Tacoma. Um, even, unfortunately, depending on uh, where the seat is, some of the Rangers. Um, but you have a lot of legroom back here, so I think they did an amazing job. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. USB, USB Type-C. 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet right there. Um, all weather floor mats are included. You also have a fold down armrest slash cup holder right there. Tons of headroom as well. As you can see, they pushed the headliner up as far as they could for the front and rear occupants. Back here, you do have your LED cargo lamp and your integrated hanger hook slash grab handle here. Let's take a look now at the bed. Putting the tailgate's real easy. You just come up to it traditional style. It's not assisted, so be careful. You are going to have two tie-down points in each of the four corners for a total of eight, as well as the bed management system with one more tie-down point on each side. So this guy's got 10 tie-down points. Lockable storage on the passenger side. You also have LED bed lighting and 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet right here. Additional tie-down points on the, tail, uh, the tailgate itself that doubles as a bottle opener. So technically you have 12 tie-down points in this guy which is pretty sweet putting up the tailgate is very easy it is very light i can do it one-handed let's take a quick look now at the towing and payload sticker for this vehicle so here you have it towing and payload sticker for this guy keep in mind if you see one on your local dealer lot that's slightly different it could be because of how it's packaged general rule of thumb is the more packages and options you have the less towing and payload you'll get let's take a quick look now at that window sticker so here's a window sticker for this guy. Again, it's a 2024 Ford Maverick Lariat front wheel drive with a 2.5 hybrid and an auto CV transmission. Exterior is hot pepper red tin coat metallic. Standard equipment's gonna be right here for a base price of $34,855. Optional equipment is gonna be right here. Looks like you have the 500A package and you are gonna get a discount of $720 on that guy. The red pepper tint coat is $495. Uh, you have floor liners without carpeted mats for 135 black appearance package for 1645 bringing the total MSRP to $38,005. Fuel economy rating is right here. This vehicle gets 42 miles to the gallon city, 33 miles to the gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 37 miles to the gallon. I want to give Spirit Ford a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically or any of the 2024 Ford lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Let Cheryl know you saw the video and she'll be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with more vehicle walkthroughs, be sure to subscribe to the channel and please check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.